All right, here's where we left off on the medkit. And I think for this time, we'll just finish up the modeling part by adding um, just hinges out here. I'll have a little area here you'd like maybe pull up and we'll just have uh, hinges here. And that's good enough for the modeling for this thing. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and select a region like that. Shift S cursor to select it. Bring the 3D cursor right out to the front. And now I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm going to edit mode, rotate X90, scale it down. Do I get the approximate size that I would, what I would want? I'm going to scale this in the X a little bit. Maybe it will go a bit like that. Okay, I want to put four holes in this, so there's a few different ways that I can do this. I'm going to start putting some edge loops in and just define a region. So I want to have a hole, 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 hole. So we'll just add some more edge loops. And what I'm looking for is a region where I can have, say, four, like that, that kind of thing. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna come like this. Okay, so I'm gonna have that. And I think I will get rid of this bottom section here and we'll mirror this over. So what I'll end up with is I'm gonna get a hole here and a hole right there. Okay, and I'll see if I can get rid of a few edge loops too along the way. So I'm gonna hit I to inset, pull in, loop to a circle. And I'm going to switch over to individual origin so I can scale these circles. And that's pretty good. And I'm going to hit I to inset one more time. And then we'll delete those faces. Let's get out of individual. Now I'm going to select these edges here and shift E and pull to give a mean crease just like that. All right, let's get rid of that. Uh, dissolve that edge, and uh, we could probably dissolve some of these edges as well. I went a little crazy with that. And so we would have this. Okay, let's go ahead and add a mirror and Z. And we're getting this effect. Okay. And let's also um, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and apply that mirror and come in here and I don't need this. Take this and give it some thickness, extrude it out. We can put on a subdivision oh, subdivision surface. Control. We'll try one. Get a nice little plate here. Put an edge loop up here. Think about those back faces later. Okay, now let's try this. Let's come in here and shift alt and click that. Shift D and pull it out. Get it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna go E, come out. And I can just try to grid fill that. You know what? I want a little bit of a lip. E and S. And then I'm gonna grid fill. Okay. And I'm gonna select these faces here. Don't worry about the shape yet. E and come in. We'll select it all in. Alt N. Uh, flip the normals, recalculate outside. That should help with the shape of that. Uh, let's add an edge loop inside here. Come on, there we go. That's what I want right there. Let's shade smooth. And we'll have this. Let's grab this. And push it back in. That'll be the bolt of some sort. Maybe we'll bring this up. We 
can see if we want to change the shape of that at all. That's okay. Okay, so now I got that. Control L. I might break this out. All right. And let's see uh, how well our mirror works. Let's bring it over to there and down to there. So we can have some bolts. And if we wanted to, we could go into individual origins and we could uh, we could scale these. Um, yeah. With the mirror on, would that work? I guess I gotta be in the thing itself. And then we can scale it so we see a bit of the hole there. It's up to us if we want to sharpen these corners. I don't have a problem with it like that right now. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a cylinder. With 18 vertices and no ends. Scale it down. We'll focus on that. Let's rotate Y90. Get it like that. Scale this in the X till it's just about at the edges. Like that. I'm going to take this out. And um, let's... Uh, what should we do? Let's just fill it for a second here. I'm not sure if I needed to or not. I want to put two edge loops there and control B to bevel with no uh, segments. I want to do that. E and where am I? Individual origins and then S scale it in to create like an indentation and then I'll come back to median point and um, select these edges here. Control B to bevel. I'm going to put one segment in there. And now, I think what I will actually do is from the side, go into edit mode and wireframe and vertex. And I'm actually going to get rid of all of that stuff there. So I'm not sure why I capped it at all. <laughs> and I'm going to select uh, this edge of vertices and this edge of vertices, and then E, and then extrude out this way, and I'm going to scale Y zero, and then I will take each one over there, and I'm going to turn on snap to uh, vertex. I got project on the cell phone, and I'm going to pull back and hover my mouse over there and snap them like that. And there we go, and uh, we'll try uh, subdivision surface on this. And uh, I don't want to, I'm just going to bring in an edge loop towards this side. And that, I'll probably need another one. So I'll do that. Like that. I'll shade smooth. Might be able to get away with just one there. And I'm not worrying about any imperfections down there. Oh, I'd snap on. Well, that, that's fine anyhow. That kind of thing for, for a hinge. The only thing is, uh, this is looking a little sharp to me, and so I might see if I can come in here, and zoom right in, and see if there's anything I can do about this. Let's turn off the subdivision surface for the moment. Let's select, let's see this inner ring if I can. And let's uh, scale shift Y, scale shift Y. Let's see how she goes. Put that back on. Just to make it a bit thicker. Yeah, that could be okay. Maybe even thicker than that. Get an edge loop. I think I like that better. Okay, so that could be my hinge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 
apply that mirror. And see, that's one subdivision, and that's two. At least in the viewport. I think I can get away with that. So I'm just going to take uh, those. Yeah, this and this, and I'm going to join them. bring it down here and I'm going to three cursor there I'm going to mirror this across then I'll have my hinges okay and then I can still adjust them anywhere I want so that is the modeling of the med kit right there all right we may have to do some adjustments as we go to put some text on this, uh, but we're going to do that next time.